you know when people were doing mmm plenty you that are watching this video you joined So hey guys, my name is OJ and you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. So like I said before, in this video, we're going to be debunking all the mindsets, like how you have made up your mind that you can't do certain things. We're going to be taking all those excuses and I'm going to be replacing them with reasons why you should do what you need to do. I don't know if you get my point. My point is, you want to start YouTube, yeah? But you have excuses and those excuses are not allowing you to manifest your full potential so today i'm going to take your excuses and turn them to reasons why you should manifest your full potential on youtube do you get me now <laughs> so let's go right into it so the first excuse that people normally give is oh i don't have equipment i need a dslr i need soft boxes i need ring lights i need all of those um breaking news you don't you don't you have already heard this before but you don't believe it but honestly you do not you that is watching this video how many equipment that me that I'm filming this video has i'm basically using my phone to film and my ring light and there's a window here you don't need all the equipment let me tell you you don't need it the thing is you just need to start with what you have you see that phone that you have start with it the phone these days the cameras that they come with are amazing start with that camera put it on your window in front of the sun and film your video and upload it period you don't need you don't need what you don't have right now i don't know if you understand me if you don't have a ring light now meaning you don't need it now you have not you have not learned how to manipulate using sunlight to film so how are you not going to learn how to use a ring light start with what you have maximize it and then use it and so the second point is i hear people say oh youtube is competitive oh everybody's doing youtube okay i get it youtube is competitive yes everybody is doing youtube when plenty of people are doing a particular thing it's a good sign because you know that there is something to benefit from there you know that people are not just wasting their time it's the same way that you know when people were doing mmm plenty you that are watching this video you joined you get because you saw that there was something benefiting if even if some of us lost our money <laughs> but you joined that's how it is don't use everybody's doing it as an excuse you feel that okay you can get into that space that everybody's doing youtube and dominate the space all you need to do is just find your way around it research invest your time your money your resources into it and before you know you are going to dominate this space so don't use oh it's competitive an excuse to stunt yourself or stunt your growth or stop yourself from doing what you actually want to do when you know that oh you're interested in youtube or filming fascinates you the any what anybody's doing it's not your business that's what they are that's what they are doing but what you want to do is you want to do youtube and that's on what period cool okay so number three is you feel like nobody will listen to you and i get it you maybe you've probably been this person that you keep to yourself you don't talk a lot but now all of a sudden you're just feeling the need to share and you feel like who will even listen to me Seth? baby every single person in this world has their tribe has their community has the type of people that they want to attract so don't feel like nobody will listen to you once you start talking to people about their pain points about you know their problems and you're giving support about these things people will listen it's just the way you are watching this video and you want to start a youtube channel i'm looking at you <laughs> but you have all these excuses now because i'm talking to your pain point you're listening to me so if i had sat down and said nobody will listen to me nobody might have been addressing your pain points at least the way you would understand so don't remove the fact that nobody will listen to you from your mind somebody will listen to you once you address the person's pain point once you address the person's problem are you okay okay cool so this is number four i need to chill <laughs> so um i want to do youtube for the money <laughs> okay would you must stop laughing okay so now it's not a totally a bad idea honestly you might see it as a side hustle and um, people do things for different reasons people do things because they have the money and people do things because 
or you know the love of it because they love it but i want to ask you yeah when you think of money on days that you don't feel like filming do you think it will keep you going if it will keep you going no problem but i think it won't because youtube journey is a very long journey youtube journey is a very long journey and you can easily get swayed away in situations where by people that started youtube before you they get subscribers faster than you and you know you, you at that point you start asking yourself if the money is worth all of it so think about the why think about the reason you're actually starting think about it let it sink in because that will be your anchor that will be what you will hold on to on days when you don't feel like doing anything when you remember that you will stand up you will beat your face and you will see now in front of the camera cool okay <laughs> so the fifth point and the last point is what if I fail? <laughs> this question, eh, I have, I'm, doing, I'm going to try to analyze everything I think about this question into a very small statement. <sighs> Why are we so scared of failure? Like, I'm, I, I want to think that the person, if you're watching this video, you should be between the age range of 18 to 22, 23. So if you fail, what will happen? What will be bad for inside that matter? because everybody doesn't just want to fail you don't want to be seen as the failure see for the you're going to fail at some things but i want to ask you if you fail at youtube do you what do you what do you lose nothing instead you have learned something you have learned that okay youtube takes a lot of work youtube creators are now playing you have learned that okay youtube is not for you and you have learned to appreciate people's work People that put in the work, you will learn to appreciate them better. But then I want to ask you, what if you don't fail? What if you start filming your first video and you can't just stop thinking about the next video idea? Or what if you can't just stop talking and stop researching about the vid um, video editing? Or what if you just all of a sudden get a flair for graphic design because you know you have learned, you have you have been designing your thumbnails, so now you just love it youtube might not necessarily be your destination but it might be the means to the thing that you end up loving from youtube you might end up loving photography you might end up loving videography you might end up loving graphic design you might like the whole analytics thing and all this we're talking about you are now branching out totally so what if you don't have anything to lose honestly whether you feel or win so that should not be an excuse stand up and put in the work stand up and film your first video because i want to see it and i'm very sure the world can't wait to see what you have to put out and most of all i want you to remember that you are a unique combination of your exposure your interest your experiences your expertise your education and that's what is going to draw people to your youtube channel and to your content so i can't wait to see you put out your first video meaning that brings us to the end of this video and i'll see you on my next video bye guys <laughs>